Been a long time coming lots of things have gotten in the way shipments haven't arrived on time stuff stocking overseas covid all that stuff doesn't even matter because right now she's running under her own power i was able to pull her out of rockstar garage for the first time super happy we are able to get the turbocharger installed it's a science to speed turbo kit and the sequential everything working beautifully so to summarize, Science Speed Turbo, that we have not talked about, but we will in a future video. Today is all about tuning. We're gonna tune the car, hopefully get it ready for Global Time Attack this weekend. Yes, that's in two days. So lots of uh, hurdles to overcome, but first and foremost, we gotta make sure it's running and running well. So let's head back over here and talk about tuning. We're having our good friend Derek at DT Tuned tune the vehicle. He tunes all of our cars. I'm going to put a huge emphasis on making the car drivable. I don't want a punch of power, a punch of torque at you know 3,500 to 4,000 RPM. I want it to be as smooth as possible, even if that means we're gonna lose a little bit of power on the top end. So we're gonna shoot for 400 to 450 range. Uh, the car, the kit on one of uh, Rockstar's other cars did actually make uh, over 500 wheel. So we're hoping that we'll do just shy of that, but get a little bit more drivability out of my particular car and my the turbo that we went with. So there she is. Let's kind of go over a little bit. Right now it is completely <laughs> unfinished and a little bit ugly, but that's okay. That's okay because we're going to do a livery. We're going to wrap it. We just didn't have time and we wanted to prioritize getting the car running and be able to make this event. So yes, it is, if it makes it to GTA, future Kevin, if it makes it, don't feel bad about it looking horrendously ugly with just the, not even primer on the, uh, on the J's kit. But we're just gonna go out there, do a shakedown. If the car does well, awesome. If it doesn't, we'll find out a way to make it better. So as you can see, the car does not have any arrow. Uh, that aero package has yet to be determined and finalized, but we, they are in the works. So it should be in the next three weeks we should have aero on the car. But where the plan ends up right now is we're going to run the car with no aero with 450 horsepower and a sequential transmission at Buntmolo. It's going to be a wild ride. Um, there's a couple options we have. We can borrow a wing. So... I reached out to my friend Jake, who drives this beautiful car behind me, and he's going to loan us his trunk so and wing setup. So we'll have an APR GT250 for the rear arrow of my car. Again, not optimal. Splitter. We're going to run splitterless because making this Jay's kit line up with a proper splitter is a lot of work, something that we don't really want to do. So we're just going to go with the factory J splitter, which is fairly, fairly decent. It'll, it'll do its job. And then with the pretty light APR GT250, which is a, a really solid wing, very low drag and relatively low downforce. So car won't be nearly where we want it to be. It might make, you know, hundred pounds of downforce, 150 pounds of downforce at 150 miles an hour. We'd like it to make upwards to a thousand. So again, this is just a shakedown. Once again, uh, Derek has tuned or Dino, the Viper, the Corvette. He's tuned my S2000 more times than I can count. Um, we just did our first pull. We just made sure the air fuel ratios were all good. Now we're gonna go through, it made about 300 uh, wheel horsepower, 220 foot pounds of torque with uh, no VTEC and no real boost, like eight pounds of boost. 
So we're gonna go through right now. We're gonna lower the red line a bit because that last time you revved it out to like 8,900. So we're gonna lower the red line and then uh, do another pull. Uh, make sure the VTEC issue is solved and crank up the boost a little bit. And we're open for about 400 wheel horsepower. That's all usable. That's kind of what I would like to see for the test day at least. So yeah, let's see pull number two. so far. Alright, final numbers before the test day. We're ending at 461 wheel horsepower and 318 foot-pounds of torque approximately. It's that brown line at the very top there. You can see the power comes on slowly, not like a wall, and pretty, pretty smoothly. Yeah, pretty happy with that. something this incredible oh my god wow okay so um first impressions holy shit. um it's amazing everything about it is amazing the uh the way the power comes on is really good the way the <laughs> when you shift it doesn't really have a ton of lag uh you can't no lift shift we don't have that set up yet so it's very analog the whole situation um, so we need to lift for a quick moment, and then the power just comes on right away. But I'm just blown away with how amazing this car feels. Uh, it's going to be unreal. Like, you think, okay, my Corvette has more real horsepower, but it just feels nothing like this. Um, and this is significantly faster, and I wish I would have run a data logger, actually, to see how fast we actually went. And uh, monitor all the vitals and all that stuff, but we'll do that this weekend. So, uh, successful day. Uh, we were able to get it tuned, 461 wheel horsepower, about 330 foot pounds of torque, um, sequential, differential, everything working flawlessly. Uh, big thank you to Rockstar. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this, it's on Rockstar's channel. So thank you for all for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you made it this far in the video, please subscribe to Rockstar. Give this video a like if you like more stuff like this. So the more attention we get, the more we can do. So I'm at the mercy of everyone. Uh, also, while you're at it, uh, follow my own personal YouTube. I do vlogs and some other stuff. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I cannot wait for this weekend. Later. <laughs>